Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night time. Welcome back to Hemlock Farm. Thanks for stopping boy at boy. Jeez. Thanks for stopping by to join Seamus on the 15th of summer, year three. Appreciate you popping in in whatever space and place you find yourself in. I hope you're cozy and doing well. As always, happy to have you here. Um, let's say hi to Leah because she actually wants to exist somewhere where we can um, give her a nice salad. Yeah, there you go, Leah. Yeah, no problem. And we forgot about this clematis. Um, clamat oh, hell. Oh, oh, because our slime hutch is done. I was like, why are we getting a cutscene? Look at the fern. Um, bumped into Robin this morning. She told me you've got a new slime hutch. Not bad. I was into slime breeding at your age. It's a great hobby, but dangerous. How'd you think I lost his eye? Ha! Just kidding. Here, I've got something for you. Na 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 na. Sorry. <laughs> you received a green slime egg. Excellent. It's a slime egg. You can place that inside a slime incubator to hatch it. Now take a good look at that egg. Next time you're out slime hunting, keep your eyes peeled for more eggs. They're rare, but slimes do drop them from time to time. Collect eggs from different slimes to add to to add some variety to your herd. Sweet. Thanks. Whoa. That was like <laughs> gone. Um Sweet. It is time to start the day. We're gonna go store this. We're gonna go take a peek in our slime hutch. We are going to retexture our very purple aggressive slime hutch. Oh, it fits in there quite nice. Yeah, that looks good. But it has some fun, like it's like a winery. Um there's, it can be like re-textured to a winery because there's some interior mods. This looks kind of funny clipping into the um, cliff there. So I might move it over one. We'll see. Um, but then there's some that are just like sheds. The only thing I don't like about this is how like that's... Whoa, I forgot. Oh, surprise. Speaking of interior. Um, <laughs> um, I kind of like this. I know it says winery on it. Oh, the Hudson Valley one is so pretty. Oh my gosh. The Japanese building one. It's like an onsen. That's so cool. Um, these look so cute. There's like a little house at the top. Oh, if only you could actually go in there. This is really pretty, but it just doesn't match the buildings. So I'm thinking we might do like this one, honestly, with like the little shed. Anyways, the inside. Let's pause it because I got a mod that changes the inside of this. Um, and isn't it lovely? This is LNH's or like Lin, I don't know how to say it. LNH's, um, like slime hutch, redone slime hutch. So it has a few crop planting areas here, which I think we can have a bit of fun with in terms of. Oh, I didn't re clothe. Can I re? Can I, there we go. So yeah, I, I liked it because I was like, okay, this is fun. Another little mini greenhouse to grow some fun stuff and decorate with. Um, to my knowledge it has um you can change it in here so like wood one wood two frames dark um ambient light is bright or dark so we can do dark enable decorations i turned off because it's like it's weird so i'll turn it on and we'll leave and then come back in so you can see what i'm talking about um but i think there's even oh i like the dark actually the decorations are really nice it's just in here for some reason the decorations in here bug me whoa we can see this i've taken 383,000 steps gifted 547 it's day 267 of stardew does that coincide with episodes no our episodes would be much uh, actually it's probably pretty close honestly there's just a few double days there items crafted one ten thousand items how many crops have we 4,000 monsters selling fish cocks, 7,000 because of the crab pots. Wow. 27,000 seeds have been sown. And then only 12,000 things have been shipped because we sell a bunch. Actually, I really like it with the decorations. Is this intro? Oh my gosh. You know which one we're putting in here. What was that? Did I say Sam's? Oh, Sam's band electronic. Uh, we can do it. You won't be able to hear it right now, but that's fine. A sad story. Grandpa seemed do, 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 do. Pickle jar rag, pirate, pirate, shane, stillness, the rain. Where are you? Oh, let's do. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Sure. Um, okay, so we need to get an iridium sprinkler for in here. Um, and we are going to literally just pop this in. It's nice. I actually don't have to do too much decoration. Donk. Decorations in here. I know there's a way, which I'm shocked it's not in here. I thought there was. 
Um, I don't know. What are these frames? What is like the iridium? I thought there was a way to change um, the like the background. What is wood three? Let's check that out. I really do like wood two though, because that kind of matches the earthy or the vibrant pastoral. Whoa! Why did it become like galaxy? What did we choose for that to make it that? That's cool. I didn't really notice a difference with wood three. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it was the um, LNHs. There we go. Let's choose. I don't know. Stone one. Frames, dark, light, copper. Oh, iridium. That's why. Maybe it was the iridium frame which changed it to have space. Oh, I do not enjoy that. That looks like very institutional. Some of you might enjoy it, so I apologize. Um, I think that was like stone one. Let's change you back to copper now. Let's see. I don't. Am I like? Is it like this that I? The frame. What's the frame? Oh, is it? Th it's this. It's the things across. Oh. Okay, so this looks like the greenhouse, which we know how I feel about the vanilla greenhouse. Um, this we need to. Um, oh, I see. You can hide. Okay. Um, I keep on getting distracted. Sorry. Um, so we'll change you back to iridium because that might look nice, and we'll check stone three as well. And save. Actually, what's the ambient light? Is that just like... I need to do that one, like, separate. Ooh, I don't like the iridium. Maybe the gold was nicest. No, dark, actually. And stone... Th actually, stone 3 is kind of nice. I don't like how this doesn't change, though. Oops, I also just didn't change it. Uh, so you go back to dark stone three bright. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I like the dark because then that matches the wood. Um, but I don't like that. St I don't like how the actual. Um, let's do. I think it was wood two. I really liked right. And then I, the one last thing I want to do after this is just check out the ambient light does. Yeah, I like that. And then ambient light. I liked it better, I think, when it was there wasn't the bright light, when it was like dark ambient light. Made it a little bit more moody in here, which was nice. Yeah, I like that better because I made the, the wood a bit darker too. Okay, anyways, cool. Unfreeze time. We're gonna, I don't know if we're gonna put fences around there to keep the slimes in. We'll see. But that looks really nice. Yay, we have the slime hatch. We can finally get some, um, what is it, petrified, fossilized slime to make more. <laughs> Uh, mushroom boxes. That's the end goal. It's the mushroom boxes. Uh, um, I think we might have... Oh, no. I thought it would have been fruit tree day, but it's not. Um, 6.50. Still got some time here. We want to go and buy some bait from Lily. I think all of our coop... Yeah, our coop animals are fine. We have way too many eggs. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to get so behind on these. I can almost come in here daily now to turn them over. Hey. Oh yeah, we redid all of our, it's so bright. I forgot that we redid all of our, um, like, um, farm animal pro processing machines. There we go. Say hi to those three friends. How you doing? Osmium's halfway there. Okay. We have way too much milk and wool. Holy. I want to make more use of this land too, but I don't want to. I don't know if I want to make use of it via, like, um, oh jeez, I don't even have room for all of these. Gosh, forty-five void eggs. Um, we have so many. Two, two, five. Actually, let's not. We'll keep the forty-five. Let's do all the things that we have like one of, because they're just taking up space. Please do not consume the duck egg. Just grab everything first, I guess. It's not like we don't have the inventory space. Okay, and then we have some milk so we can put in. Uh, 
And we have, do I have any? No, okay. How do I minimize you again? I don't want to, ah. Okay. Three. And then we have a bunch of milks. Two, two. And four. Sure. I don't know how many more. Um, looks like one, two. <laughs> sure, let's do these two. There we go. Uh, two, two. Sure. And then we need 17 of these, and we will do 6 and 11 here. Yay, I think that's the first time we've actually done a full turn of the looms as well. That feels really cool. Um, and then let's store what we got. Boom, 28 Iridium cheese, hey? Nice, this is looking really good too in here. Donk. Yeah, 36 Iridium. 57 grand for that? Uh -huh. No, wait, that's 10. Jeez, I'm like losing my mind. Okay, we will continue to just hoard. Hello, my sturgeon. Do you want to give us row eventually? I would love you internally whenever that happens. How much do we have here? Four, five, six, seven, I think. Seven, eight. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Once we'll do it once we have ten. We'll wait until we have a full ten row to do turnover there. Do 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 do. Oh, we'll wait until then tomorrow. I think it'll be fully full <laughs> tomorrow. Um, let's see what's happening in our crystallarium shed because there's probably some goodies to behold. Yep. Of course there is. Quartz, we can harvest the quartz like twice a day. So many bombs. Because 100 quartz is 20 bombs, so we like need... And we got how many? 34? 34 is like 6 bombs per harvest? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Because that will add up, because I'm going to get lazy about it. Like I'll still harvest them, but then I won't actually exchange them kind of angle um okay so we are running low on wood we can do a turn of the hardwood though let's do a turn of the hardwood especially because we're going to be getting a bucket of hardwood soon yeah i think we might actually run out of wood i don't think we have enough to do a full rotation here nope that's okay do 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 and store you, store you, store you. I think our pale ale should be ready. It is our final brew of pale ale for now. <laughs> we have planted more hops. I will remind everyone that. Okay, so my question of the day that I would love to see in the comments, including links. I might have to, I don't know. I don't know if I have like links approved in the comments or not. I'm sorry if I don't i will definitely approve them especially if they're nexus ones is what is your favorite we just got exp for something what is your favorite modded shed layout what is your favorite modded shed layout um because right now i'm just using the vanilla shed but there's a bunch of different shed layouts that you can use there like some of them are huge some of them are small um some of them are funky shaped some of them are for designing you know there's like a bunch of different things and i'm just talking about like literally the dimensions of it not what you're actually doing in the shed that'll be a question for another day just kind of what is your favorite shed layout and you can link it to even just for other people who maybe um are kind of getting into modding or maybe just don't know that there's certain options out there um obviously one of my favorite sheds is the tiny shed the little shed that we've been using for oh i didn't even have enough ancient fruit for all that um that we've been using pretty much this entire playthrough right we go into it almost daily i'm pretty sure we go into the little shed every single day but yeah that's that's probably my favorite one just because it's so versatile it takes six tiles like it's a two by three tile footprint um and it's an instant build which you can change like that's configurable i'm pretty sure you can make it take the three days or whatever you want i think you're a seed spring oh a spring seed my goodness ah um so yeah but that's my favorite one and i do have some other like main shed ones but i'm gonna leave that up to all of you to share um and again links are totally fine like link away for what you want to whoa this is really blue and bright in here the vanilla i'm getting blasted by vanilla color palette um yeah link away 
show everyone share share the knowledge share the wealth and it'd be really cool too if you said like why like um and i guess we can get a little into like what you use them for but we can save that for another day too in terms of like designing and stuff but yeah I'm curious about that curious about that too because there may be some that i haven't even investigated i do spend a lot of time combing through nexus all the time especially when i get like a cool idea and i'm like is there a mod that can help me do this um i wonder how fast these will grow now too because we have that new perk let's actually check on these over here okay two days two days so the flowers will be growing in soon that's really nice we have 149 key fruit um, six days, four, two, seven, four, ready, three, five, six. Cool. Um, the regrowable ones, we can actually, let's do, let's pick the radish too. Because we can start the process here. And this is a good way to actually show y'all what I'm thinking about too. No, I just also noticed that, is Willy in his shop? He is, we need to go and buy bait like really badly from Willy. Okay. So let's whiz on home, like whiz on home and go to the farmhouse, the greenhouse, not the farmhouse. We were at the farmhouse and we're going to do radishes first, the radish eye, the radish show. We're going to turn every single one into a seed. Um, we will be back. We're just going to go to Willy really quickly. We should also do crab pots. Shoot. Too much to do today. It's a busy day. Busy, busy, busy day. Mm. Oh. oh, I ate the radish. No, I thought I was teleporting and then I looked away. Rest in peace, radish. Thank you for your energy. I appreciate you. Um, 250, but let's go and buy bait. Please don't be fishing outside. Please don't be fishing outside. Yay. Please be at your shop too. Nice. Um, do, What are you selling today? kelp and an oyster okay you're gonna buy 999 we're gonna buy 999 oh 999 and we're gonna buy 999 and we're gonna buy 999 there we go okay i think that should be good for um at least 10 episodes maybe hey why is that one crap out like freaking out there it's because you're full and we're gonna drop in one two three for for now we'll see um and then let's let's turn these suckers over while we're here just so they reload in time for the evening bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. sorry i'm such a bad singer and I, I don't know why i've gotten in the habit of just like singing random parts i hope that's not a um, a tick for some people and if it is please comment let me know just be like ah, the singing just like really um like irritates me kind of like, like it's a it's a bad stim for me i don't know like let me know because it's i guess it's like a stim for me too i don't even realize i'm doing it until i realize i'm doing it you know <laughs> i'm just enjoying the music even though we've listened to this playlist for close to it's actually i think with this episode we're at about 150 hours in hemlock farm in this playthrough which is crazy um I don't think you guys specifically have been watching 150 hours because there's about a good like probably four ish hours of that that's like decorating content like when I when I decorate the farmhouse um, that takes me about an hour and I think that time does register into the playtime so but I mean just for simplicity's sake this this playthrough has been 150 hours worth of living in this world so that's awesome thank you for joining us for the I don't know what that's called what is um what is 150 called i know there's like fun names for these it, that is a sesquicentennial sesquicentennial s-e-s-q-u-i-c-e-n-t-e-n-n-i-a-l <laughs> sesquicentennial we have spent a sesquicentennial amount of hours on here a sesquicentennial celebration of hours. That that word is now making me uncomfortable. I'm going to stop saying it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew I've heard that word before too. Because again, I'm, I'm Canadian and Canada. Not recently anymore. But I mean, within the past decade. Celebrated 150 years of confederation, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Like being Canada. Signing the papers. 
um, being a British colony. I don't know, right? So, <laughs> um, but there's a big 150 year anniversary on 2017, which is in the past as I'm recording this. This is not recorded on 2017. Y'all know that you're watching it, but for folks who aren't watching it in the year that it's recorded, this it's been a while since it's been that. But that was called Canada Sesquicentennial. Which, ooh, I said it again, and that was just making me cringe. So. I think it's like the qu part that I don't like, Q-U-I. Which, if it's French, it'd be key, right? It's key tenial, but I don't think it's a French base word. Maybe it is, I don't know. As, do we have any like linguistics folks out there who maybe will be able to dive into it a bit deeper? I'm sure there's someone who studies linguistics that watches and would like to comment. I'm always fascinated with linguistics, but it's a little, the content's a bit like much for me. <laughs> My brain too small for linguistics. Come from the land of science, which is, you could say is um, a bit ironic, but I don't know. Science and music. Those are my two passions, my two loves. Train station trees. Okay, we'll go and check them out. Let me set the reminder, let's go and do it. Did I set that as a recurring reminder? I don't, reminder, I don't think so. What if I set it for like, 14 days and I do it on like spring 14 and actually you know what we'll do we can go and we'll go and check and wow brain shorted goodbye <laughs> um no what we need to do is we need to do um these seeds buy bait from willy is done greenhouse is not done um uh, here Sweet, where is our radish? We should get at least 24 seeds back. Yeah, there we go, okay. Cool. Um, and let's turn on these, 149 key fruit. Crazy, actually while I'm doing this, just cause it's gonna be forever, we are going to change time speed back to its original time, which is 0.7. Just so that we're not sitting here twiddling our thumbs, picking our noses, waiting for the seeds to come up. And you can see what I did when we had all of those MJ, right? When we had all the um, indica buds. And how I spent, I mean, I think there was one time where I like literally just paused it because I was like, this is going to take forever. But this is what I was doing. What? Why did those come up at weird times? Already at 166 seeds. We're almost at what? No, we have more seeds than we did crops already. But I mean, we started with, it was like 80 seeds, I think, in our inventory. Wow, we got an ancient fruit seed from that. That's cool. And that's actually, like, ironically, something I did not want from these key fruits. Let's put it in there for now. What the heck? Why are we listening to the song again? Did I not? Oh, because the playlist started over. That's why. I don't like when playlists do that when they like start and finish with like same similar sounding songs. Also, we just got another ancient fruit rip. Yeah, so like we have 253 seeds, so we just need to do a turn on these seeds and then we'll probably be done. How many more days do we have for this? 500. Wait, what the heck? No, 14. Sorry, I saw the number 500. We have two weeks on this and we'll be done it in like three days. Can we buy back stuff from the nature spirits? Like, I should go check Mephisto, because we've been selling a lot of stuff to Mephisto. Because if we can, we can sell these seeds to a nature spirit that we don't normally sell stuff to, like Astrid. So that when this quest pops up again, and I know they do decay over time, I think, but... Okay, so let's go and stash these. 357 seeds, crazy. Um... Do I have a bunch of rat? Why did I just get nine experience? What the heck? We have like not a lot of things there. That's okay. Um, 357. What is 357 divided by 24? 357 divided by 24 is, wait, what? 357 divided by 24 is, oh, 14. Okay, and we've been doing how many across? Shoot, how many? We had three across. So now what times three is close to 14? Five. So we need five rows and we have two, 15 and we had six sprinklers. 
15 to minus 6 is 9. Let's see how horrible my math is. Math and memory, I guess. Okay, and to do, do, do hot houses. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Ah, oh, we did have six. Okay. Um, so what we are going to shoot, I for ah, e I didn't do it. Okay, so we're gonna plant a bunch of these radish. And by a bunch I mean we're gonna plant the sprinklers worth yet again. And then the rest of these seeds will be when we make more sprinklers, right? But for now, and then we're gonna store whatever surplus seeds in a chest and i don't really i haven't planned out the system yet but we'll label this radish seeds and then we're going to eventually put the radishes themselves in here too i made a bunch of seeds out of that and i meant to turn some of those or put some of those into the room for cooking because we need two that's okay radishes grow fast anyways let's put down these sprinklers because these are not going to be forever sprinklers right these are just oops placeholders until we finish this um, quest and then we can actually transition them over actually we might transition some of them to ginger island because our watermelons are going to be up soon and it'd be nice to fill out that area with more there we go and i don't have my hoe or anything on me my goodness so let's go and get that um let's get these back thank you and then back to the hot houses it's nice that we're actually using and like it's fun because this is the summer greenhouse but this is the summer vanilla crops greenhouse so we're going to do a summer um raffidax crops but then i don't even know how many summer seeds there are like we might have to do two greenhouses to fit in all the summer raffidax crops i don't know um and then we can do a forage i think we'll do a mushroom greenhouse then we'll do a forage greenhouse, which I might need two because there's a lot of different forage seeds. You can see how this is why I was like, yeah, let's get a place where we can have a lot of greenhouses. And then we're just going to fill the snot out of all of them because like it's super excessive. And we really, my original plan, again, like I was saying, was to just have like one sprinkler per crop and then just kind of cycle through that one sprinkler. But I'm like, eh, why not just fill it all? Let's just use up all the iridium we can, we possibly can, right? We're gonna be, eventually we're gonna have more iridium than we need, so why not just continue to use it, you know? Um, I might, again, prioritize just doing one sprinkler of each to begin with, just so that we have that foundation going. Um, but then, yeah, like, you know, once we start to, like, finally kind of cap out on processing um, pr um, art artisanal and zymological machines, then we can kind of pursue the larger um, for the sake of completion. And this will be, like, completion of just filling out a greenhouse, like, <laughs> um, projects. There. Okay. Let's plant all of these. These should fill the majority of these. Like, I think the, la the top will have, like, not... I'm, just, I'm slow. There'll be a few empty spaces at the top because it was like 14.18 sprinklers worth or something. I don't know. Which I think are 369. I don't know. I feel like I planted too many sprinklers, but we'll see. Do these take... They still take three days. So this is either not influenced by Margo, which is highly probable, or having 20% is such a low percentage reduction that it's actually rounding down instead of up. Um, we're also using no speed grow on these, so that might influence this as well. Because I'm sure if we use speed grow, they would be two days, but I don't want to use speed grow on these because then they'll just influence whatever else we plant here, you know? And we're not in a rush with um, quality and or speed of growing stuff in this greenhouse. It's just, again, a little project to process some stuff. We can definitely sprinkle down some, some things later, um, which maybe I'll look into getting some sort of, like, prismatic fertilizer or like omni fertilizer but i also might just wait for 1.6 to see what that happens and what that does with modding before we introduce another jason assets thing oh we had like three left that's actually it was a very much higher decimal percentage there but yeah three days for those turn those into seeds do it again we don't even have to turn them all into seeds like if we have if we keep like I don't know, 200 of them and then turn, no, 
yeah, 200 and then turn the other like 180 or it'll probably be 200 worth. Then turn those other 200 into seeds. That should be enough. How are we looking in here? Oh, we need to do the train station. That's actually where we're supposed to be going. I just wanted to see how these trees were going in. Great. Oh my. It's actually like an overgrown forest in here. Imagine if there was grass. That would look nuts. Anyways, how are we doing up here? Let's give these a shake. Hello, you're not supposed to be growing. Okay, so this is definitely not being influenced by the mod. This seems to be just kind of like a very standalone farm. Have you noticed that? Like it kind of just like, it acts very vanilla and just does vanilla things. Like mods don't really affect it, which is not bad by any means. I mean, this is affecting it, but there's not supposed to be seeds growing here, which may be some sort of incompatibility with Margo. Um, I don't know. Because there is a mod, like part of the, oh shoot, that's another thing. Part of the the Tapper's Dream mod is that, I'm stuck on bushes, is that you are supposed to not be able to destroy these with like a sword or something. Like if I take you and can I kill this tree? Like will it let me? No, see, so that's good. That's That's actually happening too. Cause yeah, there's a, it's like basically prevents you from destroying them with tools, I think. And except for the ax, because that makes sense why you'd be able to ax them, right? Um, let's go and shake the quarry trees after we check out the bus stop. I don't know if it'll be time to cut down bus stop trees. Uh, no, we'll wait. We'll wait for these to grow it a little bit more. Cause I want to, I want to basically clean slate it so that we can kind of do a tally on how long it takes. Um, so let's go and check the quarry trees and depending on how many seeds we should count how many quarry trees we have Which I'm not gonna pause time for because again, we we're gonna be using actually We can just go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven By count the crowns one two three four five six seven eleven so, so seventy seven plus one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 10 is this just 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 oh so that's 70 80 no it is it's never mind. that's 11 77 plus 10 is 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 100 101 102 300 4 104 let's add that to our reference um, I might be looking into getting, I think there's a, a mod called like journal, like deluxe journal or something. Um, which basically is like on the journal, you can, there's a separate tab, which acts as like a notepad. Um, if you have watched or investigated Meraki's Rapid Axe playthrough, which again, as I'm recording this, she has kind of been on a hiatus, but I think she uses a deluxe notepad to track which trees she's purchased and which crops. So, um, but I saw it pop up, pop up on Nexus mods recently too. So that's why I'm bringing it up. But yeah, it was also nice to see her use it. Cause it's like, okay, yeah, there's a lot of things you gotta track, especially with Rapid Axe. But then we can move all of these, like this is how many plots this land has. This is how many trees we can grow here. Just so it's less visual clutter on here. And we'll keep the to-do for our um, to-do stuff, you know. T-O-D-O stuff. Also T-O-D-E-W, I don't know. But yeah, we need 104 seeds before I will be comfortable regrow it, like cutting these down. Even though I know you get seeds cutting them down, but like... I think I'm just so traumatized from pre-mod where we cut them all down and we got back around two-thirds of the seeds needed to regrow everything. Um, let's put you in here. 95. So basically next episode we'll have enough. Um, let's go to, not on fear Nymph, let's go to the town and do crap pots. Because it's 11.10 so we're going to be done well into the one the one o'clock time and i think it did i already ask the question today i think so because i th these aren't even fully done that's fine um was it the shed question this episode or was that last episode i'm losing track of time i'm not going to ask one this episode because i might have already asked one so um yeah um i am looking for your feedback though in comments right again like i i, I don't know for some reason i'm like really seeking um 
what things y'all are enjoying and i know not everyone actually watches like the entirety of every episode especially now that these episodes are longer in length um however i have been noticing a trend on my channel um Oh, did these not even re... Oh, because they didn't because I am I didn't reset the day. Okay, well, that's a bummer. We can't level that. Um, I have been noticing a trend on my channel with the amount of videos that I've released, which is not, um, as I'm talking, it is not as many as there are on my channel now. Um, and that's that the longer length videos actually do better. Um, and, you know, again, a, a goal of mine is not to, like, become a huge youtuber like have like a million whatever subscribers yada yada but um it is you know a weird sense of like intrinsic motivation and like self-validation when you see that people actually are watching the stuff you do <laughs> um because that is why i am uploading it is to kind of share my experience and my story um and if it means that people watch oh our ancient fruit thing didn't go off did it um if people are actually watching this and enjoying it then what more could i ask for Actually, maybe it did go off. I feel like Ancient Fruit is on Mondays. Let's just reset it just in case. An ancient Fruit. Um, summer 15, which is here. We're gonna do 22, okay, okay. Seven, okay. Seven o'clock a.m., sure. Okay. Um. Yeah, so, and again, I know some of you might really like the, when these episodes were like 20 to 30 minutes, and now they're airing on, like, how long is this one? This one's only 36, that's because we haven't been spending a lot of time in menus. Um, but yeah, the, the longer videos seem to perform a bit better, and I think that's just because of the nature of Stardew Valley videos and what people use them for, and it's for, like, um, like, sleep aid, focus aid... Um, maybe just some ambient noise just to kind of fill the silence, really. I don't know, right? Just to kind of have some sort of accompaniment, having that kind of sense of security, maybe. Um, and, I mean, I, that's, like, that's really awesome if that's what people are using it for. Like, that's really humbling to me. I love hearing that if that's why you're watching the videos. But that'd be really cool to hear that that's what you're getting out of the videos is that. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to be doing something with those. I have so much hair on my face where did all this come from cat hair not my own hair um but yeah it'd be cool to hear like you know kind of what you're watching the videos for let's do our weekly check-in on here 47 percent. did that go up one percent um 100 great friends 98 percent fish caught because we're waiting for fall golden walnuts yes cooking recipes 10 percent. why do i feel like that wasn't double digits for 30 percent crafting recipes that might be a little bit higher um and then everything else is pretty that's was this five percent maybe that was four percent and then bumped up to five percent i don't know um ooh, danger in the deep nice and i might be a butt and i might just staircase the heck of my way down through there Twelve forty. we're just uh, yeah i think we're just gonna go to bed um i'm gonna drop off these ancient fruit in the chest first maybe harvest the quartz and then we'll go to bed but yeah, um, danger, I need to write this down because I'll forget about danger in the deep. But yeah, we're just going to get 120 staircases and we're just going to staircase the snot out of that just to get the key gems. Because we have done it once with bombs and everything, so we have experienced that content. And now we are going to use key gems to experience the content in another way. Or I guess just more content. I'm so happy that these have changed and they look really good. Oh, that's so, I didn't do quartz. That's so relieving. I really want to do a path through there now too. Oh, and we have jades going as well. Whoa, this whole half is done. That looks so good. I love that so much. We should go see if we can craft some crystallariums. We have a bit of time, right? Me saying we're going to go to bed. Us not going to bed. Ah. <laughs> uh. One of these days. We've, we've gone to bed early before, like three times, maybe out of the 200, almost 300 episodes worth. I don't even know. I, I, can't, I haven't written down um, where we're at. Maybe I'll do that after this episode. I'll write down the, the date versus episode. Oh, we have no stone. We need deconstructors. That's why we want key gems, so we can get deconstructors. Oh my goodness, we want deconstructors so bad. Which I'm thinking is going to be our bottom 
our bottom rightmost shed. Like, you know how we have the four? Why am I? I can literally just show you guys. Oh, I got a pop up from my antivirus. Um, sheds. I'm going to pause it really quick just so I can talk about it. Um, okay, so the plan, which is illumination one, because it's so dark, is crystallariums, crystallariums. So these two sheds will be crystallariums. Look at how nestled they are. That looks so good. Uh, I wish I could put a tree in here somewhere. Um, then we will have deconstructors. This will still be all of the coal, um, the, tr the tree chippers, and it will have the bone mills, and then it will have um, geode crushers in the front. Then back here, we will transition these deluxe wine kegs somewhere else, I believe, but right now it's fine there, and these are kegs. So I don't know what to do about these. Like I might keep these kegs and just turn over vanilla stuff. And I mean, there's kegs, there's some Raffidex stuff we can do with vanilla kegs. So we might do kegs and then we might do um, preserves jars in this one. Just so we have like the vanilla artisanal machines here. And that'll be kind of this shed hub here, if that makes sense. Um, and then we have our tree hub up here which is looking pretty okay. And again, I left this here because we are going to be pathing here eventually. Um, we have obviously our obelisk hub. And then I'm thinking up here, eventually this is going to be where we place the golden clock and we'll make this a nice kind of like design feature up here. Um, golden clock, potentially a mill. I would like to have a mill. I know they're kind of pointless, but I still want to be able to craft one. Um, it'd be nice to put it down here, but this is kind of an awkward area. I might put a, a small shed here, a tiny shed here. This one will fit there. And then IDK. Um, <laughs> we're going to be redesigning this area a little bit too, making it a bit more overgrown and fun. We have our... <gasps> I know the time is paused, but I didn't even notice these. Look at them. They look so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to harvest them because a golden... Whoa. Hello? What the heck? Hello? I was not expecting it to like, I just won't swore, like literally explosive diarrhea, like all the treasures. Wow, look at that. Oh my, a golden chest. That, whoa. So we are gonna have a lot of fun growing a lot of these Oh my god, I am like, <laughs> we got a gold quality, 11,000 as opposed to, what the heck? <gasps> Silver leaf, oh my gosh. Have we shipped one of every, all of these? We have minus the, oh my gosh, I'm like, we'll keep the iridium quality one. I'm like overwhelmed by that. That was, what, a golden leaf too? I didn't even notice that. Oh my gosh, and there's, oops. We got a bonus one. Oh my God, what the heck? Have we shipped a silver leaf? I, I was not expecting that at all. Okay, so we're gonna be growing a lot of those treasure plants. Like that'll be like very end game. Like when we're in close to the end of our playthrough, um, we are going to be growing a lot of, I know the time's hot, sorry. Um, a lot of those just because that was that was like not that was a dopamine rush I was not expecting um, some of you probably knew that was going to happen because you know about those plants but I thought that we were just going to be getting a singular chest from them so that was that was wonderful I enjoyed that I made 4,000 dollars from that golden dollars the dollars but that's an intentional one um, wow okay cool Thanks for joining us on the 15th of summer. Um, I appreciate you all as always. And again, I'm looking forward to hearing hearing your feedback, right? Getting a little bit more interaction from y'all and hearing how you're interpreting it. Um, even how your own playthroughs are going or how they have went if you have completed your Raffidax playthrough or if you're just using a playthrough with Margo. That's also one that I'm super curious to hear about your Margo playthrough. I know we haven't really been doing a lot of Margo stuff lately, but still, um, it's pretty great. So I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Even if you've made it to the end of the episode and are now hearing me rant, I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye for now.